Red Dog Games. Playway. Playway. They make like all those cheap games. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014 with me, Brad, I'm 73. Um, I just entered the game earlier to set up my options, um, but we're just going to go ahead and I just wanted to kind of show you some of the 3D, um, we're not going to worry about audio, but video. Uh, I'm playing with the ultra graphics quality, so that's as high as it'll go. Um, you can kind of see all the different... Um, settings there so anyway I'm going to cancel out of that we're just going to go ahead and um, it's kind of a cool effect um, like when you go into the car it almost looks like you know you should be wearing 3D glasses or something I don't know anyway wait what was other other what other options oh yeah mouse speed you definitely probably want to you know, kick the mouse down um, a little bit because it can be uh, really sensitive once you're actually in game. Uh, and I'll kind of show you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we will set up a profile. A profile, bread and sim three. Um, save that, I guess, and play. Oh, there's two. There's two modes, career mode and endless mode, so I don't know. Ah! <laughs> the endless mode apparently is locked, so... Uh, yeah, we don't we don't get to uh, see that one, unfortunately, yet. Maybe in like 37 episodes? I don't know. <clears throat> Alright. Welcome to the Car Mechanic Simulator... Or welcome to... <laughs> welcome to the Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. I would think that should read Welcome to Car Mechanic. Well, anyway, in this tutorial, you will learn the basics of the gameplay. You are in your first garage. It is the most basic garage in the game, but if your career progresses, you will unlock more professional garages with the diagnostics path, or with diagnostic paths and chip tuning. Let's start from the basics. Uh, walk to the radio, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, while near the radio, use it by left-clicking the mouse key. All right, so... Um, the mouse is still pretty, I don't know, it's kind of fishy, not fishy, but swishy, I don't know, sluggish, it's not sluggish, I don't know, getting a nice solid 24 frames a second, uh, recording, so that's good, that's actually where, right where I want to be, um, if I'm not recording, uh, you get, I don't know, my computer pretty much just pegged at 60 frames a second. All right, when you are close to uh, enough to perform an action in-game, an icon with a description will appear. So you'll see, like, this little gear. Um, then you can go and press the action key to use it. Let's try to operate the lift, uh, the car lifter. Go to the car lifter. Okay, car lifter is over here. Car lifter. Oh, and it lifts the car. All right, so this concludes our first basic tutorial. All right, we're gonna jump in. I think this is our first repair job. Okay, the first customer has arrived. The job description and goals are listed in the repair order. You can always return here from the quick menu under right, under right mouse button. After completing all tasks, you can finish the job by stamping the form. Um, so, alright, so we have a vehicle, a Genesis Town, 2006. Um, alright, replace front brake pads, check front brake discs. Can you change the brake pads on the front axle and check the condition of brake discs, please? I will be back tomorrow to collect my car. Alright, Ready to drive away stamp. Replaced replaced parts will be returned. Okay, that's just saying if they want their... Okay, I guess I can't scroll down. All right, so we're going to get $500 for this job. Right-click to exit. You have to replace brake pads. Go to the PC and buy four new brake pads from the car shop. 
All right. Um, just wanted to take a quick look around the shop here. Um, I don't really think we can interact with any of this stuff. Nope. Um, there's a tool bench here for repairing. Supposedly, I guess you can repair certain car parts. Uh, exactly what? I'm not 100% sure yet. I did watch a couple videos online uh, on this game, and uh, but I don't think you can really do much with any of this other stuff, at least not yet. And we I mean, turn the radio on and off. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Um, all right, so I guess we have to go and all right, so we start out with 700 US dollars. Uh, we have a car shop, which is okay. So we need to get brake pads. I think it said four brake pads. So there's new. And can I, can I open up another browser? No, no, I don't want to buy a cougar wheel. I don't know what that used car parts. I think we can buy brake pads in here too. Ooh. Wait. I th no brake pad. Okay, there's a brake disc. I guess that would be really, really bad to have used brake pads. Um, well, I guess there's not used brake pads. All right. Well, let's go buy four new brake pads. One. Two. Three and come on, four. All right, go to the first wheel to start disassembling. Remove wheel by unscrewing the bolts, then remove brake caliper to get access to the brake pads. All right. So here's our car. Let me get the work on. Um. All right. The front left, you can perform three main actions in the mechanic mode, disassembling parts, assembling parts, and examining, examining parts conditions. Icons in the top right of the corner, so up here, will tell you which uh, action is active. To switch between the actions, open quick menu by right-clicking the, the right mouse button and choose another one. Okay. Let's stay in the disassemble mode. We have to take out old brake pads, start by unbolting the wheel and the brake caliper, then and then remove the old pads. All right. So I guess, okay. And this is just your standard AWSD, Q and E, zoom in and out. And uh, you can also use your mouse wheel button to move in and out as well. And you can actually... Oh, what the heck? What was that? You, I was just wanting to show... Look, you can actually see like the detail. M4 by 20. All right. Ah! Didn't want to zoom out that fast. Okay. All right, so... Okay, now we're on to this. We need to take the brake calipers off and unscrewing the unscrewing the brake pads and everything or you know the screws it's just you hold the mouse button down i guess you can actually click individually it just takes a little bit longer all right great you dis disassembled the old brake pads on one side it's time to re it's a time to assemble new ones switch to the assemble mode and mount all right so we'll right click and then you just click this button, go into assemble mode, put on the new brake pads. That's pretty easy. Okay, one more thing. Remember that the customer asks you to check his disc, his brake discs. Switch to the examine mode and select the brake disc to examine it. If you know the condition of the parts, you can repair wear on them. Not every part can be examined by hand. Some to be okay. If you know the condition of some, okay, so some parts, but not all parts. Um, oh, we got to need to right click, examine condition, and then okay, and then it turns into this magnifying glass, and so it's 63 percent. All right, so we've examined the condition. Uh, now we need to just reinstall the brake caliper. 
Did I get that one? Okay, and reinstall the wheel. Two more. Whoops. All right. So we got the first first half done. Whoops. And now we just have to go around to the other side. I played a little bit of this to kind of familiarize myself. Not a whole lot. Um, okay. Alrighty. Take off these brake pads. Hopefully I'm making this look easy. Um, I, I've i actually done front brakes um, on my Jeep. Um, <gasps> no! I didn't want to take that off. Yeah, put that back on there. Uh, I guess we I guess we must have inspected it, even though we didn't technically inspect it. All right, so I guess we are. I guess taking it off and putting it back on, uh, re uh, re uh, tells you the uh, you know taking it back off, putting it back on tells you the uh, wear of the item. All right. Okay, there's our old brake pads in there. All right, put this back on. Brake caliper. Pew, pew, pew. Now, the control of this game isn't perfect, but it's it's not bad. So far. All right, I think that's everything. So I'll hit escape. Come back here. Congratulations, you repaired your first car. There are many more to come. If you want to finish the current job, open order form from main menu and stamp the sheet. All right, so I don't need that anymore. And yep, both of those are checked. I guess that's how you know and repaired. So yes, proceed to next order. Um, now another thing I believe you can do. Actually, I'm I'm pretty. I know you can do. Not I believe I've seen it. I've seen people do it in videos is um just right click and you can go to show inventory this is like all the spare parts that you're left with and you can actually sell them for a few extra bucks so we made what an extra 15 or 16 bucks for that wait four uh 17 bucks because three of the pads are four dollars and one of them was five dollars okay all right so what's this order now <clears throat> okay, replace air filter, oil filter, and fuel filter. I had my filters checked over a year ago. Replace them all again, please. And they're giving us three hundred dollars. Wow. I'd be really mad if I went to a garage and paid three hundred bucks for that. It's like I can do all that crap myself. <laughs> all right. Um. Let's see, there's the air filter. Um. Car parts shop. Uh, peel filter, 80 bucks. So that was what? 105 bucks so far. <clears throat> and what's the last thing we needed? Oil filter. So $155. So we're going to make $145 off of this. Um, it should be pretty easy though. Um, air filters are always a cinch. Come on. This is this is I'm pretty sure the air yeah, air filter cover. Um I have to take this off. See see how I don't see how this item is got the yellow kind of you know, you can't do anything. I can right click, but it doesn't really do anything. Um, so, you know, if 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 your part that you're trying to take apart is yellow or has the yellow border, um, you know, kind of move around to see all the different attached parts, and that those will usually tell you, um, you know, what needs to be unmounted from it before you can take, you know, the other part off, or the part that you need to take apart off. All right. <clears throat> All right. 
so we'll take the old filter out, and now we will switch to reassemble reassem mode. Put the nice new filter in there, and now we just have to click, put the air cover back on, put the four screws in. This is this is a real pain. I would be I would be quite upset if I had to go through all this just to replace an air filter all the time. Um, pretty much on all my vehicles, uh, the filter just has a clip, and um, you just pop it on there. You know, you you just pop the clip or clips. I think some of them have two clips. Okay, um, but yeah, it's really 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 easy to do. All right, so here's the dipstick and oil filter cap. All right. Why is it that like this European music um, always they always use like synthesizers to make people sound like elves? I don't know if you guys can hear the music. I don't want to really turn it up too loud because I don't want to get one of this like content strikes. But uh, I just I kind of find it funny that uh, they do that a lot in Europe. Anyway, um, all right, oil filter cap. All right, so that is out of the way. Last but not least uh, is the fuel filter. That should be on the gas tank or around it somewhere. So I'm probably gonna have to use the lift to lift it. Engine. Wow, it's like the bottom of the car is completely flat. Uh, I guess it's right up here somewhere. Undercarriage inspection. That's probably the fuel. Yep, fuel filter right there. Easy. He's the biz of Japanese. All right, and you can also kind of ah. You can also kind of look around, see what is that, fuel pump, okay there's the fuel pump. Alright, just kind of looking around at the other parts there. I don't really know, I guess that was like this, the rear suspension. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this guy's done. Uh, replace air filter and oil filter and fuel filter. Yep, we're good to go. He doesn't want any of his original parts back, so we'll go ahead and then we'll sell the uh, we'll sell the parts here in a second. Um, all right, perform a test drive. Replace all worn out parts. While I am driving on bumpy roads, I can hear a knocking from the front wheels. Check the car and replace any worn out parts. So we need to perform a test drive. 300. Uh, all right. Um, show inventory. Just want to sell this stuff. Two dollars. And all right, so we made 300. Well, we got 319 dollars for that last one. All right. So. Ah. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I. Uh... <laughs> accidentally I don't know what the heck I did I like hit my mouse my trackpad and it went to my desktop all right so we're recording again thank god the video didn't get corrupted oh my god that would have that would have sucked all right um uh, you can't look around what city am I supposed to be in I don't know doesn't look familiar all right, so I guess we just push forward, and I guess all we can really do... Oh, change the camera. Ooh. Ooh, external and internal views. Sweet. Ah. Ah. Stop. Okay, braking. Slalom. Okay, so basically you can't switch around this view at all. It's locked right in. Oh god.
Yeah, don't ever ask me to test drive your car in a video game. Alright. Well, that, that told me absolutely nothing about the, the form and function of the car. Yeah, that absolutely did nothing whatsoever. Okay. Um, hmm. Will? Where did he say it was? The front right side? Oh, just a knocking from the front wheels. Alright. Uh, wheel inspector. Um. Examine conditions. Uh. This thing looks yellow. Um, let's go ahead and... No, I don't want to inspect the nuts. Let's just go ahead and take the wheel off. <clears throat> now if we go back into... Whoops, no. Examine conditions. Okay. So, I guess this... I can see another red one over there. So I guess we want to re kind of replace everything that's red. Um, yeah, 22%, 10%. Yep, that's... Oops, that's definitely needs to come off. This is like... I guess that's like one of the suspension or... No, this is the steering linkage here. So I guess that was just like one of the, probably like a sway bar kind of a thing. Okay, so oh, let's hit escape. Let's go around to the other side, take the other one off. Go, go. If, if, oh, okay, what, what was it that needed? Let's go to examine condition. Yeah, this, this needs to be replaced. All right. So, what do we have here? Whoops. What do we have here? We have, whoops. Show inventory. We got our two wheels. Okay, sway bar, end link left, outer tie rod, and sway bar, end link right, outer tie rod. All right. Okay, let's see where we can find the parts that we need. Outer tie rod. Ooh, a hundred bucks. And then, where are the... Okay, sway bar. Okay, so... 200 bucks. And how much are they paying us? 500? 300? What? That sucks. Thought we would make more money than that. Alright. So we'll go into reassemble mode. <clears throat> Ooh, look, the new one's like all nice and clean and not rusty looking. Alright, put the wheel back on. So you can kind of like screw in these screws from different angles. Uh, or not. <laughs> I lied. Alright, whoops. All right. Uh, so was it this one? Yep. Sway bar link end left. Oh, I gotta go around. Okay, and then last is this little guy, the outer tie rod. All right. Now put the wheel back on. We'll be it should be all done. All 
There we go. Whoops. Show repair. Yep, we're all done. 300. So we spent 200, and then let's see how much we'll get. Uh, $8, $4, so that's 312, and 319. All right. So we'll make 119 bucks. I guess that's not too bad. All right. Well, I think that'll um, I think that'll pretty much do it for this episode. Um, we are going. I'm going to call it a day, and um, we'll come back in the next episode. We'll fix our next car. So, guys, this is uh, it's again. It's called Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. I don't really. I mean, that's that's a seems like a pretty basic simulator so far, but um, it's kind of fun. I don't know. I, I'll keep playing it. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. Thank you again so much for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you back in the next episode. Bye for now.